Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to download the original S-Note app on your Galaxy Tab S3. Now, Samsung has moved to Samsung Notes ever since the Note 7, but on this, on the Note 7, they actually allowed you to download S-Note still. On this new tablet, they don't. However, I like S-Note a lot better, and it really depends on the user that you are. So let's go into both of them. So first of all, the Samsung Notes are, I would say, a lot straightforward, direct, and easy to uh, write. So writing is really easy on them, really easy. You just keep going as you go along. You can put an image on here. You can paint on here. You can write text on here. You can do voice commands on here. And overall, very simple and easy to use, but it's not really versatile. If I wanted to do more with this I really couldn't there's nothing more I can add to this There's no extensions uh, to make this more versatile what if I wanted to draw shapes lines if I wanted to do a table or anything like that which I do for my comparison videos every comparison videos I use a S pen in order to write down uh, the pros and cons and which one wins out in which categories I do that on a normal basis and I can't do it uh, with this app so therefore, I wanted to go back to the S-Note app, which I found to be, again, really good and intuitive, but I like the ability that I can do shapes. So what I mean by that is I can make lines and they magically uh, go straight. So I really like that ability to be able to just do that and even the animation looks really cool doing it. So overall, that is a feature that I really need to be able to have in order for me to do what I want on here. Now, I will say that it's not um, like once you do this, you cannot erase these for shapes. So I thought that was odd, but you can just, of course, go back. But just know that um, you, of course, can do uh, different writing stuff uh, as well, as well as favorite pens and uh, magnifying things. But on here, you can just do so much more. You can change the background style and settings. So if you want a grid, you have that. If you want to do list, you have that. If you want a diary, you have that. You just have all these different type of styles that you can do. Again, a lot more versatile. And like this is something that I could do for a video. I could, okay, for this scene, I want to say this. For this scene, I want to say this. And be able to do that. You can even have it different colors, which I like. So it's just a lot more you can do with it. And I love that ability. Um, now, you can also uh, do other things. You can reduce the toolbar, um, um, have your fingers be able to use the screen, not just the S Pen, add pages, manage pages. There's just a lot you can do with this. So again, I just really like the ability and the versatility that this has over the regular S Note app, or sorry, the Samsung Notes app rather. So how do you get this? Well, you go to apkmirror.com. For those of you who always wanted to get an app but you can't seem it's not compatible with your device on the Google Play Store, check out APK Mirror. It is the best and safest way to download apps that might not be compatible with your device and then once you download them, they work. So this is the best way uh, to do it. So you go to apkmirror.com and you find the two tools you'll need for Samsung Notes, which is this first one and that is S note and you can just do the search right here to find this S note and the latest version is 5.2.04.15 and this one was actually just recently updated in March so recently which is nice that you have the latest and greatest version of it and this is where you uh, click download APK and then you'll need to give your browser permission to download something and then that's it so that's going to be the first one, and the second one is the extension pack, which allows you to do more and have more versatility with it. Uh, so you have that, and this was, again, updated on March 11th, and again, just go right here to download APK, and just uh, type in S-Note extension pack, and it'll come up. And, of course, you can also, once you're here, go to Samsung Electronics and see every app that Samsung offers that might not be compatible with your device, but it really will work perfectly and seamlessly. So hopefully you guys did like this uh, video and hopefully uh, if you did like the original S-Note like me, 
uh, you're happy to get it back with these steps. Again, I actually did this within the first 24 hours because I realized that I could not do what I wanted with Samsung Notes, so I put S Note right on there. Really curious to see what you guys think. Do you guys prefer the new, friendlier uh, Samsung Notes version, or are you like me and you rather prefer the more versatile S Notes? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy.